I knew a toy show called G.I. Joe Winterfest could be good even for a non-G.I. Joe collector like myself. You got Adam Power, then what's the bottom one? Man, I almost hate that it's sealed because I want to open it. Pretty cool. <laughs> I had no clue it would be this good. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> yeah, we watch you all the time. We How's it going? We watch you all the time. Awesome. That's gnarly. How's it going? <laughs> How you doing? Doing good. I want you awesome. all the time. Awesome, thank you. What's your name? I said, I'm Larry. Larry, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe you'll be there. Oh, yeah, it's close enough. I got to check it out. Thank you. How much you have on the Wolfman up there? Uh, this is my friend. Oh, is it? Uh, it's coming right now. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. How much on your Wolfman? Uh, uh, hundred bucks. Oh, hundred bucks? Yeah. Okay. What year is it from? You know? What's that? Those are uh, those are a hobby shop uh, resin model from like the early '80s. Okay. They made a mummy and a Frankenstein also. Yeah, I'm gonna take that for hundred bucks. Okay. Pretty cool. This one's been painted. Yeah. A, but they did a good job. I think it's awesome. They come with just resin. Yeah. I mean, they are the box art's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. And also, what do you have on Alfred E. Newman up there? Little. Uh, the head. Yeah. Um, I do forty bucks. Forty. Pretty cool. That's off the doll, but that's just that's always missing. Yeah, that's cool. Head up body for it. You ever find that doll? This, this ribbon's always missing. I love it. It's an expensive doll. I've never seen it before. Yeah, it, I didn't even know they made it. They, it's, it's got a soft body. Yeah. With uh, rubber hands. Very cool. So they run, they run probably yeah. thousand bucks. Oh wow. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, man. Appreciate well, that's a good start, I guess. Thank yeah. you very much. You need a bag? Uh, no. I'm just gonna run outside real fast. Thanks. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, Power Lords, too. Yeah, here's something else, too. You don't see every day. Rocks and bugs and things. What's that from? Rocks and bugs and things. It's 80s to right? That's interesting. Was it a cartoon or something? No, it wasn't a cartoon. It was some real oddball storyline. That's cool. How much is that? I do 25. Okay. Um, what do you have on the carded Power Lords back there? Really each, on that. Okay. Take a look at yeah, sure. She's pretty clean though, I'm punched. You got Adam Power, then what's the bottom one? Uh Krypton. Okay. Oh, no, that's Argus. Right on. Such a great figure. That is cool. And his leg's not good. <laughs> Actually I got a I should have brought it. I have a like a salesman promo book for this line. Oh really? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. And that's Power Lords too, right? Yeah. All right, what would you think on these three cards? That guy, that up there, and then these two. How about 600? 600? Yeah, sure. Beautiful inside. Inserts, everything. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's awesome. Still sealed. Very cool. I love it. Thank you. Give that back to you. Or, you know, the way... And what do you have on the claw right there? Which one? The uh, green claw. Cousins. So yeah, 620. Man, yep. Dude, yep, I don't have the green one. Four, five, six, twenty. Oop. Dragon Riders of the Sticks? Uh-uh. I mean I've heard of it. Yeah, that's a tough piece. Oh, multi toys, okay. How much is that one? Uh, two hundred on that. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna think about that and the inspector there. Okay. I'll probably kick myself because I'll get into it next week or something. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got. Hey, Froggy. Well, that's good. Good. How are you? Good. That's pretty cool. Yeah, sure. Any comps on that or anything? Did you just have to kind of uh, guess on it? There's one uh, season or episode two on Facebook for 249. Uh -huh. It's not sold. It's just that's crazy. I just thought it was cool. The guy. 
Next, he um, he put a post up and said, I want to trade toys for CDs. Uh -huh. I had a ton of CDs, so I just offered some CDs and just kind of picked stuff that I wanted. That is really cool. Is that, I guess it's episode two, right? I would guess so. Volume two, whatever that means. So I don't know if there's multiple episodes on there or not. So that's the only thing I had to work off of. 150? Awesome, man. Thank you so much, buddy. Yo, how's it going? Oh, <laughs> what's happening, man? What's up, man? Anthony, what's your name? A Eddie Vaughn. Eddie Vaughn, nice Yeah, meeting, watch man. all the time, man. Awesome. I remember that. when I saw you, I was like, hey, come on, because <laughs> I know you live like in Ohio or Indiana. Uh, right? Central Indiana, 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 so it's like yeah. two hours. Yeah, yeah. so that ain't far. I kind of do a three-hour window. Yeah. Hey, it was nice to meet awesome, you. Awesome, man. Thank you. You too. Hmm. What are these things? Those are from Italy. And it's like a backpack or something? It's a backpack, but you get a toy inside it too. Really? Yeah. So my friend brought those to me from England. Okay. Yeah, there's a carded toy inside there. That's cool. So you get one of those too. Man, I almost hate that it's sealed because I want to open it and like hang I it up nicely. Yeah. Okay. I had never seen them before. That's really cool. Probably gonna grab those two regardless. Okay, so. buddy. I'm gonna think about some of those. Okay. And then what do you have on the street sharks back there? Uh, these came right out of a case. Okay. Okay, case fresh. I was asking 250, 250, 250. Okay. And they're all dead. Those are nice. Oh, yeah. Really nice. And then what are the watches, like 85 a piece or? Uh, these are the more rare. Gotcha. Um, these here, I could do, I could do 50 on, on those. Okay. 80 and then 50 a piece on these? Yes, I would, yeah. Cool. So you want one of each one of those? Yeah, please. And I might as well just make it one of these, maybe that one too. Man, that's cool too though. How much is that one? Yeah. 130. Dang, dude. Dude, I'll, I'll do 100 bucks and make that one. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. 385. 385. I gave you a little bit off of this one, too. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. So, you 15? I think so, yeah. Awesome, yeah, man. Thank you again. Deal. Thanks so much. Man. Awesome, buddy. Appreciate it. Yo. She's like a big fan of Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, what's your name? Allie, nice to meet you. Thank she you. I on your thing last night to see if you were coming here today. Oh, cool. Well, yes, I am. Yes. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. It's <laughs> awesome. Appreciate that. Pretty cool. <laughs> That that is the store display. Yeah. That's the way that that's the way they would hang it on the on the talker or whatever. It's pretty at awesome. The, at the counter. Uh huh. Just knock off. Kind of love that. Killer. <laughs> um, how much you have on I that? Got Seventy-five. On it. Okay. It just it's killer. Okay. And then what about the uh, Spider Man? Two hundred. He's unused. It's just a tape pop. It's okay. Never been out. You can see the tape still sticking out. Okay. It's not bad. And then last one. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. You, did you see the inside? Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I don't have any of the light brown or the blue, so it'd be cool to have the display. So it's one, 175, 375. Um, you have any room on all three? About 350. Sure. Okay. That'll work. And thank so you. you in the bag, yeah. Sure. You ever do the Xenia show? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, Love that show, yeah. man. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, these are a little cheap. I can do 75 each on the other two. Okay. Thank you. I gave him a good deal. I know. He said, and I said, it's a great deal. It's an awesome. If you collect that, it's yeah. awesome. He was so excited. He came back. I don't back mean to aggravate you. No. Like, okay. I won't get a picture with you. Sure. That's okay. Froggy Flips. My hero. <laughs> Thanks, man. Awesome, man. All right, you got it. Made him happy. That's Rubber snake that goes around. Gotcha. Hmm. That'd be upwards of 200, 250. Really? Okay. That snake, that snake. I'll start looking into it oh, now. You'll get a bunch of messages saying, yeah. you should have bought it. You should have bought it. Okay. Uh, and that one especially, right? Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay. All right. I think I'll probably do those. And then just... Get that dinosaur? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really not into turtles too much, but no? I really like that one. That is cool. Yep, I think that's my pile right there. All this? Yep. Call 400? Four? Sure. Cool. It would be cool to display one. Yeah. Another 50 bucks, you can have that. 450? Yep. That works, man. Thank you. 
good? Good. Thank you so much, man. Thank Appreciate you, you buddy. Nice. That one's 120. That one's 150. They okay. are complete and not broken. Okay, they are complete? Yeah. Okay. Those are four mad balls. Yeah, yeah. Ten bucks each. Okay. Actually, <laughs> it's twenty dollars. Like four of them. I'm gonna grab three from you. Go. Cool. Inside of curiosity, do you have any room if I bought both of the Centurions? Uh, 150, 120, so 270. So that's three with those. Do so maybe 250? 270. 270. Practically, I'll give you three items. That'll work. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome, yes, man. Sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Pardon me. I knew a toy show called G.I. Joe Winterfest could be good even for a non-G.I. Joe collector like myself, but I had no clue it would be this good. This particular event takes place in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. The Kentuckiana G.I. Joe folks, they actually do two shows a year, one in the summer called G.I. Joe Expo, and then this one called Winterfest. Now, of course, a show like this would cater to G.I. Joe fans from the 1960s to now, but I've learned it's a good idea to check out these shows that may not quite fit the theme of what you're looking for because there's always the outliers, and a lot of times there's less people looking for the things that you may want to scoop. So, drove down to Kentucky, had a great time. Highly, highly recommend this show, whether you're a G.I. Joe fan or not. I came back with a huge haul of amazing stuff, and the prices were pretty dang good, in my opinion. I want to give you a closer look at everything. Normally, I try to spend a little bit of time on each piece, but there's so much here, kind of going to have to group everything together and just run down the list. So, let's get to it. We'll start right here with the very first thing that caught my attention. This giant Wolfman model made by Sakuda. Not really sure how to pronounce it, but I just thought it was pretty amazing. I had no clue what year it was from, had no clue what he was going to be asking for it. So when he said 100 bucks, I was instantly sold on that. I definitely think it's worth that. It's already been painted, but the paint job looks amazing. The box is in great shape, so that was a killer first find of the day. As I was asking about the price of the model, I noticed this Alfred E. Newman head. I'm a big fan of Mad Magazine. I've said it a hundred times before. This is from the 1961 What Me Worry doll. It's not from the later 90s version. It even still has the tie with it that says What Me Worry. He was absolutely right. This is a super rare doll. I had no idea. I just thought it was great. I think the head is very, very displayable on its own, but if I ever happen to find the uh, body laying around with no head, then I do have a complete one. But until then, I love the Alfred E. Newman head. I went back to that booth later on and picked up a few things that I missed the first time around, like this complete store display candy dispenser box from Gremlins 2. It's got all the different fellas in there. Very good condition. Don't see this one too often complete, so very happy to pick that up. Two things I love are store displays and knockoff toys, so to be able to combine those two things into one piece, that was a definite no-brainer there. This is a display full of little grippy wrestler guys from, I would assume, the 1980s holding onto this rope. Guess the rope would be hanging in the store so then the kid could just uh, pluck off the one he wanted. But I think that's pretty cool and I'm excited to hang that one up. The last thing I picked up from that booth is the 1978 Rimco Energized Spider-Man. I pretty much love all things Rimco. I don't buy a whole lot of superhero stuff but I do like vintage superhero stuff and the fact that this had never been used, uh, never been taken out of the box, definitely had to have it. Thought it was very very cool. At another booth I decided to finally dive into another vintage toy line. These are Centurion made by Kenner, uh, 1986, I believe. Don't know a lot about these myself. I never had them. I know that they can get pretty pricey because of all the uh, little accessories that, that you can clip into them, especially with a guy like Max Ray here. There's just tons of these little accessories that you can clip in in different configurations. Pretty cool looking, honestly. Like I said, not an expert in this line. Have no clue how big it actually gets, but figured I'd grab a couple complete figures as I saw them. We have a uh, hacker here, Max Ray over here. I know the price was pretty average for complete figures so the fact that got the uh, nice boxes thrown in also plus we bundled in these knockoff mad balls which I just love these things this is uh, getting me pretty close to completing the set of these it ended up being a really good deal so happy to finally start learning a little bit about Centurions I also ran into my buddy Matt who was set up there he knew that I was gonna want this this is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe volume 1 on an 8 millimeter tape completely sealed never been opened from the 1980s. He had it priced at 150 bucks. 
I was happy to pay it. Still have no clue what something like this might be worth. It's one of those things where the market might be small for something like this, but when you want it, try to find it. So you just got to pick something like that up when you see it. It's going to look great in a display case, and I am happy to have this little oddity. I also saw that Rob was set up. Rob is the owner of Route 68 Vintage Toys and Collectibles over in Xenia, Ohio. He's also the mastermind behind the Great Ohio Toy Show. He always has amazing stuff, always willing to make a little bundle deal. I picked up this cool little lot of Street Sharks watches and a few Mighty Max pieces as well. I actually have a couple regrets of things I didn't grab from him, but he's over in Xenia. I know how to find him, so we'll see what ends up happening there. But just some really cool Street Sharks watches sealed on the card. We have a few of the LCD watches. There's another one there. And then I also picked up the molded version as well. And then as far as the Mighty Max stuff goes, I did grab the Mighty Max watch. Cool little playset that actually comes with a figure. Nice packaging. And then a couple two packs of the shrunken heads. Probably won't go too hard on the uh, carded Mighty Max stuff, but a couple nice carded examples of some of the smaller pieces. I was definitely happy to pick these up. Here's the other set right here. Very cool. Definitely check out Route 68 if you're ever in the area. Stuff like this does not even even scratch the surface of what you can find in there. And then the booth that I definitely went the hardest at. I would say that he might have known me better than I know myself because I probably would have left a few of these pieces behind and I would have been kicking myself later. Guaranteed. I gravitated instantly towards the Power Lords. It's a line that I've been actively pursuing recently. So to pick up three carded figures for under a hundred bucks a piece after the bundle deal, absolutely great deal. Got the loose figure back there. And the coolest piece from that line that I picked up is the Power Lords Beast Machines Evil. It's like a mutant vehicle with this demon on top and a tank on the bottom. This is cool, not only because it has the box, but it's also never been used. All the accessories are still sealed in the bag back there. This is a very, very hard to find piece. Even to find it complete is very tricky. So very happy to have this. I think it was a fantastic deal, especially when you consider the bundle. I think it was well under 300 bucks at that point. This is the first cool piece that he pushed me towards. It's made by Ideal, rocks and bugs and things. I feel like I do remember these, but I've not thought about them for decades. So definitely was not on my radar at this point. I think it's pretty cool though. You press this button on the back and it, and it comes to life like that. Also in his $10 bin, found a uh, knockoff mad ball. Definitely not going to pass on that. You can see his brain coming through on the top there. One of the uh, rubbery squishy ones. And then to finish up that first initial deal, grabbed a green claw from Muscle. I currently have the flesh color and the blue color, so needed the green color. And for 20 bucks, that is a crazy good deal. And then as we were finishing up that initial deal, he pointed out these vehicles that he had sitting back on the shelf. These are from a line called Dragon Riders of the Sticks, early 1980s. I had heard of it, never really put much thought into to it, but as I was walking around the show, I kept thinking about these things. Knew I was going to regret it. He had said that this is a very tough piece to find complete. He was not kidding. Very, very tricky to find this demon flyer right here. So I went ahead and took that opportunity to bundle in a few more things like the TMNT Trippy Tyrannosaurus with the Cave Turtle Don. Both of those are complete, which is very cool. And then I also grabbed the loose Galoob Inspector Gadget because it would be nice to have one out of the box for display. So went ahead and picked that one up. Up. But as far as the Dragon Riders of the Sticks items go, very glad I went back to pick these up because I definitely would have been kicking myself if I didn't grab these. I've looked into the toy line a little bit now. Very cool, uh, I guess, 3.75 inch scale figures, you know, much like your Star Wars and stuff. Kind of a uh, fantasy based, like Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. But these vehicles are just pretty amazing. It looks like it's a really cool toy line that I'm excited that I have the opportunity to explore now. I'm sure you'll be hearing lots more on the channel about these things soon. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye.